Well, good morning and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And as you can see, I am on my way to work. So today is the day I get to plant my garden bed after work. Um, but first I have to go to the bank. I just went to the uh, mailbox and gosh, I got my Amazon check and my, and my um, Zacon check on the same day. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Anyway, um, I'm going to go to the bank because I have a couple other checks from work to put in there. I need to take back a pair of shorts and a shirt that Michael didn't like. Even though he kept the exact same pair of shorts in a different fabric. But same style. I think because these were plaid. He wasn't sure if that, the, yeah, it was a little outside of his comfort zone. I said, wear a couple pairs of Lula Rose. You'll get out. <laughs> I've got a cute pair on today. Anyway, um, <sighs> so I've got to return that. And I'm probably going to buy, not this top, but there's that top I wore yesterday. They've got it in a couple other colors. I might grab two more of those because they were perfect for leggings. Comfortable. You know, I, I really enjoyed wearing it. So, um, and then what else? I guess tonight is going to be, um, I want to make a, tonight a vegetarian night, but it might be, it might be fish again, because I have, um, I have some fish in the freezer that I, and fish is so easy, it's fast, so that's probably what we'll do. I might put it on the green egg, I haven't decided, put a little smoky smoke on it, mm. So what are you guys doing today? Oh, I wanted to tell you. Um, okay, so one of my subscribers sent me a link to a video that it was on Frankie Seeds. And it's Frankie. The guy pronounced it Frankie. Um, and it's the oldest seed company in the world. And it's family owned and passed down generation to generation. And uh, yeah. I was like, well, isn't that something? So if you guys have a good resource on where to get um, a bigger variety of Frank of Frankie seeds, I would love that. I've searched and I can't find anything better than what I have um, here. And yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm excited to uh, explore new um, and different seeds that they have. And to me, they're pretty reasonably priced. You get a ton of seeds in each package. So, like I said, I planted zucchini for five years out of that one package. So, and I probably grew 500 pounds of zucchini. <laughs> one of them was 18 pounds. <laughs> I let it go to see how big it would get before the garden went to bed, and it was 18 pounds. Pretty funny. I think that was the first year because couple of them got away from me. You know how they do. Anyway. All right. So I'm going to go to work and then uh, go do my running around and I'll meet you back at the house and I'll prop you up and let you watch me plant. <laughs> so I'm home from work. I changed my clothes and I'm ready to go work in the garden. I'm ready to plant pak choy. Now this is very similar to bok choy, like a baby form and it's ready to pick in 30 days. So um, you can do this in a container if you want, um, but we're going to do the starts in these, um, bought another starter tray. Love this size. It's, it's nice. It's good size. And in fact, they may grow completely in there. You don't need a very big area for these. And then I bought, they had onion sets on sale, um, instead of two fifty, they were $2 for a hundred sets. So... You don't always get a full hundred, but, and then I, I bought organic container and potting mix. It's got worm casting, castings. It's, it's an awesome mix and you can use that inside or out. So, um, that's, oh, and then, uh, we'll go out to the other little garden area. We're going to plant, we're going to plant radishes <laughs> and carrots and cucumber. Okay, so I decided because I planted some cucumber seeds and they're out here. Hold on, let me let me show you. Um, they're out here. 
and they, they haven't got their second true leaves yet, I don't think. At least not when I looked. Oh, um, but there's, I'm gonna put this right in the ground and I've got a ladder trellis. Actually, I've got two of them and I'm gonna put those in there so I can go up and over the bed. And um, that way we'll have cucumbers. Anyway, and then uh, look how good these little tomatoes are doing. There's two in there. And I don't know where I'm going to put them. And there's two in here. Uh-oh. And there's two in here. Uh-oh. So, six. Six tomato plants. Where the heck could I put those? Oh, I need to water the garden. I turned off the water in the garage, so I need to do that. I was like, why didn't that water this morning? <laughs> but I'll wait till later and let it water. And, um, <clears throat> or maybe I'll just turn it on to water in the morning. That's what I'll do. So it's gorgeous, but it's warm. It's like 89. So nothing happening in these seed trays yet, but this table is going to end up all, all, uh, potted plants and these galvanized pots here, these, uh, they stay, the moisture stays up or it's moist. It stays pretty good. So, anyway, um, that's what I'm doing. I want to get out there, but I'm going to wait till way later. Um, it, I'd prefer to do the planting in the morning, but I got to work again. Darn it. So, anyways, um, we're going to get this planted though. I've got enough shade. And in in the fall, I'm already collecting my seeds for the fall. So, like the scarlet kale, that'll be fall stuff. Um, I have some baby cabbage that I did last year. Where is that? These, and it's a small variety, very sweet, very small. And I, mean, I think it comes, and you can do this in a container, 60 days. So if I put it in in July, August, September, it's ready in September. Um, so most of my fall planting I do in July, um, and July and August. Sometimes even later though. I'm trying to think when we put those garden beds in. I'd have to ask Michael if I don't remember. But anyway, that's what's going on here on the little homestead. And I've set out some fish. Um, I need to put it in some cold water um, and get that for tonight for dinner. We're just gonna have fish and salad and very light, lean, lean dinner. I just had a salad actually, it was delicious. So. That being said, um, let's get busy. <laughs> okay, it is hot. And I'm like, ah, I don't know if I can do all this. It's shaded here, but I think our high today was 92 and it's right at that peak. And then we're gonna cool down even to, by the weekend in the mid 60s, which I love because you know what? We don't need to be in the 90s already. <laughs> that hot, dry heat. Too. Okay, so I planted the pak choy, um, or pak choy, however you want to say it, pak choy, I guess it is. And I watched a video on how you can get this to keep giving instead of pulling the whole plant or cutting it off at the root base. Well, I'm going to experiment with that and show you what happens. And um, we'll try to keep this going. So I'm going to have to find a spot in the garden or create another garden space for this. And you can do this in containers. So maybe I'll get a couple of these. <laughs> I'll get a couple more of these for um, the pak choy. And uh, it's like a bok choy, it's so good. It's really, really good. And then I've kind of picked through some of my onions. And of course I had a handful that were hollow because these are late. Um, I want the ones that are feel firm to stick in the ground and I'm looking at all the spots where I could get them. I want them in the raised bed so they have loose soil um, to grab onto and, and, and they're easier to pull that way because we had a heck of a time pulling onions last year out of the main garden. So I'm going to sit down and draw out my uh, garden design here pretty soon on what I want for next year in that garden area. I want raised beds all the way. Ooh, it's wind! So, for those of you that can't hear me, I'm going to talk a little louder. 
Okay, so I put the ladder trellises across here, and I'm gonna plant um, the cucumbers in there and let it go up and over. And I think that'll get really, I'll plant the cucumbers on one side. So what do you guys think? Leave me a comment. And then um, I'm drip irrigating in here. Um, let that tree get some water. And <laughs> I have bush beans and Lo and behold, I have um, a, a lot of butternut squash. So I think we're gonna be overloaded. I cut some grass, some tall grass that I've been meaning to weed eat. <laughs> I cut it for the girlies. And two of my kale leaves, they love kale. I mean, they just, they run around like they got a prize. Yeah, oh, it's so warm out. And one of them, oh my goodness, I came in here earlier. She had given her, she was giving herself a dust bath. Nobody's business. They, I think they all worked on it, but can you see that <laughs> divot in the ground? I mean, it's, it's down here. The little excavators, look at that. Look what's in there. But it makes it, it's cool. And so what I do is pour a gallon of water down where I threw the grass let that soak in a little bit and then as they scratch they can cool off and if they want to take a dust bath in there they can oh my goodness Aunt B is it good that's Aunt B huh the girls are getting so big oh my goodness okay so that's what I'm doing <laughs> I'm walking around and the first morning I have off I'm gonna do the chicken or the yeah the chicken wire on here Still haven't, I haven't seen any Tweety Birds in there. Hey, I don't want them in there either. So, um, no signs of anything sprouting yet. It's still too early, but I'm super excited. So I think the onions are gonna go in, scattered in here, um, where I have space and yeah, why not? And then, um, I don't think I want to put any over here. I've got enough stuff over here, but. And then as soon as these radishes are done, I'll put onions in there as well and put them kind of close and pick them as bunching onions. And yeah, because bunching onions take a long time. So I'm gonna go prep our fish for dinner, cool off a bit. And then when it cools down completely, I'll go ahead and water everything over here. And, uh, I gotta feed the dogs. We have strawberries. Look at little baby strawberries. Yep, starting to turn. There's a couple of them. And um, all my bush beans are up. And look at that pumpkin. That pumpkin right there is growing big time. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. My grandsons are gonna love this. These two have never seen the magic pumpkins. So um, I've done it for the older ones, but I haven't done it for these two. Okay, oh, I'm in the kitchen. Cool off a bit. The air's going in there. Oh. So I love when you think the camera is on and it's not. Anyhow, today's vlog was a little short and sweet, but gardening and a delicious dinner. A Mexican-inspired tilapia on the big green egg. Yum!